estates and facilities, we get forgotten about the patient journey. I've got the ability to, to make changes that can make a real difference to people. We know that when we create a space that creates time to help people reflect, that that's the key to high quality healthcare. Earlier this week, a new reflection corridor was opened at St Luke's Hospital. Linking wards F5 and F6, the corridor has been turned into a brightly coloured and inspirational space, which will help patients with dementia and memory impairment. Today, we hear from Sam Hunter, Estates and Facilities Project Lead, about her inspiration for the project and how dementia patients themselves have helped to inspire the artwork it features. When I joined the Estates Department seven years ago, I'd come from a social care background. When I came here, I wanted to bring along all that patient engagement. We have to make sure that everybody's happy, that everybody's engaged, and that the patients actually had a say as well, and that they've had a choice in what we're delivering. The project is F5 and F6, which is our two elderly wards over at Horton Wing at St Luke's. So we've got to consider quite a few things to make an area dementia friendly. We need to make sure that we've got some kind of soundproofing, that it's not overwhelming. We need to have that contrast in colour. We always make sure that there's a contrast between floor and wall. There's a lot of things to consider within the visual impairments and, and cognitive impairments. I recently saw something that was really good in a hospital in Blackpool and it had this really exciting journey of Blackpool front and the sounds and it even had the sort of smells as well and the visual aspects of being along the promenade and I just thought that would be absolutely brilliant to do that on the corridor leading to these two same wards. So I've just been working with our designer who's been doing some patient one-to-one -one work, having some really, really good chats with people about their memories and their past. It's been really lovely to have staff engagement. Staff aren't always engaged with projects, so we've made sure that lots of people have had the say in this. It's their environment. They're the ones that will be there every day and using it. So the work hasn't actually physically started yet. There's some preparation work starting next week. Week on Saturday, we've got all the graphics going on the walls. And then on the Sunday, we've got the handrails and the flip down seats being installed. So it will literally complete the day before the reveal, so pressure's on. Last year I attended the FIT group over in Shipley, which is the Facing It Together, and that was run by the Alzheimer's Society. I could speak to some people experiencing cognitive impairments and, and actually for them to tell me what their thoughts and ideas were for the design. Tommy Whitelaw is a visitor to BRI a couple of times. I saw him over a year ago in our Sovereign Lecture Theatre. He came to do a talk on dementia and his own personal experiences of looking after his mum. And I thought he would be absolutely marvellous to come along to this. It'd just make it really special. So we're here today to celebrate this incredible new corridor that's been created. We know that when we create a space that creates time to help people reflect, that that's the key to high quality healthcare. And when we create a space that encourages us to slow down a bit, helps us keep a pulse, I'm more encouraged to say, how are you doing today? Or is there anything I can help you with? How has your day been? So you'll come out of the ward and you'll walk up one side of the corridor and it'll be a walk in the park. And then you'll come back a day at the coast so there's a really nice journey and memories of the themes that people have spoken about from being, you know, childhood or being with loved ones. Often when my mum was in hospital, I would walk down corridors and they all look the same. It just felt quite lonely. Creating a space like this encourages us to take a wee bit of time to reflect. It will encourage conversations, uh, past, present and actually future. This is a lovely place for people to come off the ward, have that time out and just, just reflect and just be away from a clinical environment even if that's for 10 minutes. And I hope this corridor encourages those moments to, to share how we're feeling, to listen to each other. My goodness, we can give each other 30 seconds, can't we? estates and facilities we get forgotten about the patient journey you know I've got the ability to to make changes that can make a real difference to people I want to do the best I can to to make somebody's experience better so no I'm not clinical but I can improve that environment not just for the patient but the staff that are using it as well I hope this is a corridor where staff can take some time for each other 
where families like mine may be feeling quite lonely and alone can have some reflection. I hope it's a space for you and for everybody that walks through it.